so we're going to check this out. Again, I know a lot of y'all have seen this already, but uh, Falcon slash Kunta Kinte, all right, is now Captain Black America slash Toby. All right. And Disney is praising the shit out of this. All the woke people praising the shit out of this. A lot of black folks praising the shit out of this. They love it. OK, they love it. Um, I'm like, where's the Falcon move? Where's the Falcon? This is the Falcon move. He's just Captain America now. <sighs> Y'all know all of that conversation going around. Man. It's, it's disgusting. Falcon being the first mainstream uh, black character popular black character not super popular a lot of people don't really know falcon like that um but he was his own character he had his own legacy he had his own stories he teamed up with captain america he teamed up with other heroes he became an avenger all right one of the early avengers he was that guy and they taking it all from him and now he's working under the name of captain america it's disgusting when you really think about it but here we go. Captain America, Brave New World. Again, I missed last week, so I didn't get to talk about this. Uh, this trailer did not look good. Y'all, let's, oh my goodness. Let's, let's just get into it. All right, let's watch this trailer. Y'all, bear with me. Wilson. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to uh, lose the mustache or lose the election. Now, uh, to address that, and I saw Mark with the C, he was talking about that and how, um, yeah, you can recast uh, Red Hulk or General Ross, but you can't recast Black Panther. I I know that was the meta joke there, um, the new look being a different person. In movie, I think it's more of... I, I'm thinking it makes more sense if it was a reference to Falcon and him saying he's getting used to the new look, like the new suit. Um, that's what I would think they'd be doing and not, I don't know if I can, I don't know, lame ass, just mustache joke. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it was just a thought that I had. <laughs> Something else, thinking about the suit, man, and we'll see it. It's so funny with these like new black characters because you gotta see the hair. You gotta see what that exaggerated swagger do to him. Okay. And I was just looking at Falcon suit compared to Cap's. And Cap head is completely covered, right? <laughs> but then you see Falcons, <laughs> like the top of his shit just cut off. <laughs> Cause you gotta see the fade, bro. You gotta see the waves waving. You gotta see the tape on the side. <laughs> but they got his head exposed for all type of sniper action uh, going on. I'm not saying, you know, the cow is bulletproof or anything, but shit, it, it offers some type of protection. So, you know, some padding up there, but no, nah, black man don't need that. <laughs> sniper bullets can't hit you in the NFL. Continuing on. You and I. I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on... Like, I hate I'm so sensitive to this stuff right now, and, you know, it's not as real, because the whole time he was saying it, like, the, that boy jaw was not moving. I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, then what happens? Work with me, Sam. Okay, you know what? That's interesting. That's interesting because Cap was not going for that government control shit. What happens? Position. But I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. So that's going to be interesting because Cap, white Cap, it's like, nah, you ain't going to control me. I'm my own person. I fight for freedom. And now the opportunity, in a way, is being presented to Black Captain Falcon. And, you know, he's saying, like, all right, well, what if I don't? Like, he proposing a question, but that don't mean he's going to go through with it. That don't mean he's going to, uh, you know, hold his nuts and tell him, nah, you can't have me. Shit, he throwing a suit on. 
He accepted the name. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, then what happens? Okay, so he didn't say if I disagree to it. He said if we disagree on how to manage a situation. So he was like, all right, if I do take the position, <laughs> what if we just disagree on how to go about it? He's like, how many lashes am I going to get? You know what I'm saying? You, you going to give me a quick little seven or is it like 40 or some shit? You know what I'm saying? Damn. Work with me, Sam. Work with me, Sam. If I got to whip you, boy, it's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. So don't even put neither one of us through that. I don't want to. I said, boy, I got that red. I got that red. Oh, we all know it's red, Hope. I got that gamma juice in me, too. You can't handle me. <laughs> Let's show the world a better way forward. Ah. All right, so you got Isaiah, who's it, Bradley? I think that was his last name. Um, so he was technically the first super soldier. Um, Y'all, if I'm remembering this correctly, there was a group of soldiers, and I want to say they was black, and that would just remind me of like the, those Tuskegee experiments. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look, I'm, I'm going too far into it, okay? I'm looking too deep into it, but... um. Yeah, I hate how legacy white cap is just being taken out of the whole equation. And now we're going from the original super soldier to the next Captain America, which are kind of the same thing, but not really. Um, and it's it's so from what we just saw, it's another like I don't want to say black on black story. Cause you do got Red Hulk coming, and the leader is in here too. Um, that's funny. That's funny. I think I want to see what they do with this movie. I, mean, I don't want to watch the movie, but I just want to know what route they go with this. Sir, your inner circle has been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. What is this a trap? Okay, so there's the leader. Your inner circle's been compromised. What does that mean? Because we know Ross is Red Hulk. So he pulling some strings himself. Um, if they keep that same story, you know, that same guy in a way, essentially. Kind of, I don't know, man. It, it's like lump minorities together. I'm not going to necessarily say Hispanics, but it's like you know, can we slide another minority in the story at the same time? And why does Falcon not have the wings? Because even in that shit comic, he still had his wings. That's why he should have been Captain Falcon or, you know, uh, American Eagle or some shit. Do better, President. Is Ross the president here? I don't think he's president. Is he still... uh? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You know, head of like defense. He has him in it just later on. So the Mexican dude die. Besides, if you recall, when he meets Cap, he talks about how he lost his wingman. I think so. That wingsuit is not one of a kind. It's a military issue with uh, Stark upgrades. Yeah, and um, I. I wasn't mad at the, the military approach. Like, I hated the muted colors because, I mean, it seems like a lot of characters got the. That's just where we are with the superhero stuff. Uh, I would have liked to see him become his actual Falcon self and have the red and the white suit, um, have the feathers that he fucking, he shoot out and they come back uh, to his to his wings or his, his wings manifest more of that like material. Um, I wanted to see his drone die, like his drone get destroyed and somehow he, you know, he discovers his power or he evolves to get his power to actually uh, telepathically communicate with the birds and to see through them. And he gets a bird that he names Red Wing. And you see this thing 
helping him on missions and like doing stuff. Um, you know, I said that would have been cool if Falcon and the Winter Soldier, like if he if he had Red Wing, him and Red Wing was talking shit about Winter Soldier, like some buddy cop stuff. But the best buddies is this dude and his bird. Y'all love a, a kid and their animal, the boy and the dog story. And you took that from me. All right, back to this trailer. So we got the leader right here. Um, there was some stuff I think that I missed. But you don't want to. What is this a trap? I did like the kick. He did that as Falcon. Uh, I think those his wings. Global power is shifting. You're just a pawn. You know what? And I mean, you don't need the, I don't know how heavy the shield is, but he doesn't need to be a super soldier simply to throw it. I think with Cap's powers, he had like this, um, would it be trajectory? Like he was planning out those angles and you know, the strength, like you playing pool, you know, if he hit this, then it's going to bounce here, bounce here, bounce here to the point that it can come back to him. So Sam does not have that. So that is, that would be the issue that I see with him trying to utilize the shield in the way that cap did it but as it being there simply as defense that's garbage because i would think that their approach would be to try to make him some wings that are made of adamantium and vibranium or at least the skeletal part of the wings be adamantium and those feathers are vibranium that way they can you know uh dis disperse damage um you know maybe he could shoot the vibranium feathers out or whatever like then there's no need for the shield and you have a wider range and you can attack with them as opposed to this little round ass circle <laughs> where they stab at him directly on top and all the rest of them is exposed. Like, I'd be, you know, if I was him, I'd be tapping dude. Like, all right, you stay right here. I'm about to shock his ass in the elbow real quick. <laughs> but if he had two giant ass vibranium wings, then he could just slap both of them dudes out the way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. They're going to make sure he know that you're not Steve Rogers. You're the bigoted conservative white man in the audience. That's why you're the villain. They could be more clever than that, Marvel. Cedar, Cedar, Giancarlo, is he a villain? I'm telling you, man, this black on brown violence that we always getting. And then Isaiah Bradley, like all this, this color shit going on, man. They be wasting these black characters on like social justice instead of just real superhero shit. You see what I mean? Captain America. He blocking bullets. He blocking all of these. I, I don't know guns like that. But all these rifles and all of them are just aiming at this goddamn shield when he could be running at them with two big ass wings folded up. Think about gargoyles and what they was doing, you know, flying, blocking stuff, swatting people, you know, man, then uh, uh, like a an angel from X-Men and then when it becomes Archangel with the big metal wings and. I think I, I saw feats where or stats like he could lift at least a ton with his wings. Like, bro, bro, bring me these wings back, bro. The wings are the shit. Fuck this little shield, bro. Fuck this little discus. <laughs> Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. You're right. I'm not. All right, now that's where you get the lecture part of the movie. Go to wings. Let me see the wings again. A 
boy, in a better timeline, AJ is excited, jumping up in his seat, seeing those wings. And then from these trees, you see the real falcon, the real feathered bird come flying and hovering. And, you know, he he give Red Wing that nod. And, y'all, I was saying it will be a dope scene if he's, like, fighting somebody. And because he can see through the bird's eyes, he has all of these birds that are around. And he can see. It's kind of like he's not being, like, psychic or telepathic that's not the word i'm trying to say it's not that he can tell the future um and know what the villain is going to do like where he's going to swing but he can look through some bird's eyes that's looking at another angle and see some little small movement okay this villain is about to kick right here and then he's blocking you know what i'm saying like ah shit shit shit, shit. I was just watching Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and it was a it was a whack ending. And yeah, I'll spoil it. I don't think y'all care. I'm not gonna spoil it too much. All I'm gonna say is the main characters, our main clan from our, our hero, his clan, they work with eagles. And there was a point where all of the eagles basically jumped somebody and just kept attacking. Now, I'm not saying we would need that in the movie, but just if all those birds flying around, all them angles, and then different types of birds, like, oh, my goodness. And you just see him looking through, just seeing all these angles, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, with the... And, and I said black versus brown earlier, Vidge. And I won't say it's necessarily that, but it do seems like there's a push to get an extra minority into the mix. And then that turns into like team ups with all new, all different Marvel. You had Asian Hulk, um, you you know, the black uh, Miles and who was Hispanic? Was it Nova? Hispanic, uh, Kamala Khan. Yeah, Kamala Khan. Uh, the only white person on the team was was young Scott from from the past. <laughs> Cyclops, um, Peter Venkman fan site. Um, they just stuck that in there like Feige did the white comments. You saying white comments? Or y'all be killing me with this YT uh, in 2016? Harrison Ford is the villain. Man, he's the Red Hulk. So in a way, he is. Uh, they just need to give him the neural link from Elon, have the birds be government drones, go full meta. Yeah, I mean, that is what they would do, but no, I want to see real birds. I want to see telepathy because then he's not limited to a device like where he is with this Falcon. He has his actual, you know, innate abilities. Like with Spider Man, that's why I love Spider Man. It's like, yeah, he, he got the, the web shooters, you know, he got his gadgets, but when those fail him, he does have innate abilities to fall back on or to, you know, to use, to have to use. Uh, him as Cap doesn't make any sense. And it won't it won't matter what happens. He isn't a super soldier, but has all the same powers as them. <laughs> what will happen is they will purposely do something to show that he is less like i remember covering this um i can't think of the dude's name uh i think it started with an n or something the dude who was he was i think he was an executive producer for uh uh black panther the light-skinned black dude with the glasses nerdy looking dude was saying like yeah i, I understand that people are upset you know that we didn't recast the child and that's okay they have that opinion, but I hope you go watch the movie and then you can talk about it. You know, anyway, that dude, though, he was saying that uh, he's going to have to earn that title um, because he doesn't have those powers as uh, as Cap, real Cap. So it's like, yeah, they're going to purposely do something to show. I mean, you even just saw it with, with Ross telling him if you're you're no Steve Rogers. It's like they're going to. They pointed that out so that they can show, okay, he is less in a way, but this is why he's more. 
his uh what is his weakness is his strength. <laughs> that type of shit. And Jay, you're not asking a truly important question. How does this movie help the black community? Well, it teaches us that uh don't even waste time trying to be your own character, being your own legacy. You won't be able to get bank loans and uh you'll get more from the country and more support if you just take the uh the white man's name, take his shield, you know? And uh yeah, then we'll then you'll be validated. Then we'll fuck with your little nigger boy. This is how this will help us. Stop having dreams of grandeur and get in line. Imagine having Red Hulk finally in live action and it not be an incredible bro. Imagine having the leader in a fucking movie and it not be a Hulk movie. Imagine having Abomination, which, to be fair, he was a product, he was a product of the leader before he became leader, but that's like one of those things where it's like, okay, well, it's an adaptation. I can accept this change in the story. But it's like, come on now, we waited this long to, to bring this story back. But at this point, abomination, he's soft as shit. I don't, we don't want to see him again. Think of the state of the Hulk and abomination. This is not even a fight worth watching anymore. Hey, you about to make me mad, bro. That was the worst. Man, I know they even fucked up all these characters, bro. But what they did to Hulk. You know something? I'm going to tell you why it's worse for Hulk. Because all these other characters, it was like just them that they fucked up. Now, you can argue maybe with Cap and you got Winter Soldier. But the Winter Soldier ain't fucked up, in my opinion. They haven't shat up on him. I can't think of another legacy character that has other characters surrounding them that have been tainted, that have been disrespected. But they fucked up the Hulk, She-Hulk, Abomination. We're about to see what they do with Red Hulk. And then they had the nerve to pull non-binary Scar out the ass. Literally out the ass. We don't know how this dude was made. We ain't see Hulk get no, no vagina. And he walks from behind in the Hulk like he didn't just asexually reproduce this dude. That's why his hair pulled, <laughs> pulled so far back because he came out the ass. <laughs> that thing was so tight because the Hulk was healing up <laughs> as Scar was busting through. <laughs> so it pulled his hairline back some. And for some reason, that shit just ain't regenerated. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All the Gamma Warriors are fucked. Damn, bro. It's like I can I can see the government angle because in the comic, sure, it was a Hulk comic. Um, but because Ross was doing his government thing behind the scenes and scheming and whatnot, I can see how you can integrate a Captain America or a S.H.I.E.L.D. like story in there first to introduce that character but then um in his actual revealing the revealing of the red hulk and when he's like okay i'm about to hulk out yeah i'm raw so i don't give a shit you know it i'm about to kick some ass now and then you have that in a hulk story but i can see them laying the foundation in a a shield like story this nigga here that nigga there <laughs> That's what they're about. This is Captain America. <laughs> Meet the new Captain America. <laughs> he has some shield agent. This nigga here. That nigga there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, we ain't done with this trailer, man. All right, we're going we're gonna to finish the trailer. Let's get it. Okay, he got a, the Golden Eagle is with him. Why? Why are you shoving another minority in the movie? What's with all these characters we don't know and probably won't give a fuck about? 
You know who his buddy should be? His winged buddy should be Red Wing. His goddamn bird. That's who we should see flying with him. All right, so who was that? I think Gemma asks, is, is uh, Red Hulk the villain in this movie? So there you go. He's a villain in the movie. So you had, and they trying to do so much like inside twist and turns and fucking, it's too much. But you got Isaiah Bradley, the black guy with the gun. He was the first soldier. I was, like, I was just a prototype to you. I was supposed to be Captain America, but you gave it to some white boy. And now that he out the picture, you got this Negro that you've been grooming. You just gonna hand him the suit. Fuck all the work I put in. Damn this country. That's what Isaiah Bradley gonna say. I'm trying to look for him. Okay, during this scene. That went too fast. Okay, that's the golden eagle right there. So that's the winged sidekick. This is Isaiah. He's the first super soldier. With a group of soldiers. So this is what I mean. They got this character that is going to be in it. Golden Eagle, who's somebody else that's in it. Look okay, how I'm tossed that man. Pop, pop. What are you trying to take? What's in that glass? What he want? I don't care. Keyboard, what are you doing? Why are you not working no more, keyboard? Look at him. Mortal punch. Well, I guess soldiers, the super soldiers. Normal punch. That's what he got. Not a super soldier punch. Got this man jumping out of goddamn building. No wings. That's a real one. Isaiah Bradley, he the field N-word. This nigga, yo, that nigga there. This is a house N-word right here. Golden Eagle. Golden Eagle. Double kick. Here we go. Uh, the leader. So that's another character that they got to fit into this store. Look at him. Look at this Asian dude. This is going to be a goddamn Easter egg. He's somebody important that ain't really important. <laughs> Yeah, that's the chick that was protecting Trump, the Secret Service, the the one female out of the whole squad. Look at that. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, why both of y'all? And I'm talking about this dude right here ain't applying no pressure. Like, come on, somebody take your little electric stick off and stab this nigga in the face. Stick him in the armpit, man. Like, tickle his ass. Not literally his ass, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's be smart. Let's be smart, villains. Jean Carlo. Here you go. So this is another character. Look at that. Strong woman scene. Here go some old characters. They're gonna try to make them important. I just know it. Oh, was that his sister? Was that uh somebody referenced that earlier? You're not Steve. Just look at you. I think there's all the characters. Yep, and Red Hulk. He catches the shield. 
because it's a weak boy throwing it. If that was Captain the John would have hurt his hand, it would have bounced off his hand. He wouldn't even had a chance to grab it. And then Cap would have caught that John as he was running to him, jumped up on that boy's head, kicked him, something. Let me throw it in the shield, man. In the ground. Get that shit out of here. He ain't even buff, man. This dude slim. Which I guess I'm not mad at it because uh Edward Norton's Hulk was more slim. And that's a video I, I want to do. Um is why he was the perfect uh Professor Hulk slash maestro. That thin frame, it, it just already showed or had like the potential to like evolve to a sophisticated um Hulk and then further uh to go into a villain. Um but like, yeah, he was slimmer compared to the big bulky Hulk that we're used to seeing from uh, was it Eric Banner and um, Mark Ruffalo. He was more toned, like he he was Jack. But then when he got angry and fighting Abomination, you did see him get bigger. So it's like, okay, he has that, but he man, that was the perfect Hulk. Look at this dude, just just rubbery looking. See, they losing they hope they never had one but anyway throws it into the ground all right that is captain falcon brave new world